Well, that's a bad angle. Whatever. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, we got ourselves a boss to beat, and he's kind of sitting in a farm. Let's get him out of there. Make Swampert. I think you're about to get one-shotted by a Mega Venusaur. You hit me, but it's not going to be a good idea. So I looked up Snorlax, and Snorlax is pretty much perfect. Oh my god, that's going to be nasty when he got two-shotted. Easy. Easy money. Oh, and an Eviolite. Thank you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We need the Eviolite. Um, bye-bye, Leather. I need to, uh... Ooh, that's a rare spawn. Mawile. I guess I'm right next to the mountains, huh? I guess I climb down from the mountains. Anyway. Why don't I have any sound? My headset is on. That's good. Um, hmm. Where did my sound go? Like, I have sounds on. Cool. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to restart the pack real quick. Apparently my sound has just disappeared, which means the uh, headphones will turn off in a couple minutes, so I need to reset everything. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, what the frickin' heck? I, don't, I shouldn't, like, show you everything, but it's like, whatever. I'm trying to make sure my recording's working, and it doesn't... Like, I had sound last episode, then it just stopped. So maybe if I restart the server, it'll pick it back up. Problem is, the sound on this thing just start, stops working sometimes, and whatever but um so yeah if you guys are interested in learning how to get the pixelmon uh, thing for your uh minecraft obviously you need your minecraft account um with mojang and stuff you need to be logged in and then you need this thing called the technic launcher it's a java application and then once you download the technic launcher which should be Fairly straightforward. Yeah, see, now there's sound. What the heck? Ooh, can we beat this Mega Altaria? That's the problem, though, because it's a fairy type. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. Alright. Flygon, you're gonna need to get me up there, even though it's kind of close to the ground. Uh, we're gonna lead with Staravia, because it's... Oh my goodness, come on. There we go. So, Mega Altari has an ability called... Ooh, it's got takedown. That's good. That's pretty good, actually. Should, well, has the ability called Pixelate. And that is a... Basically, it turns all normal-type moves into fairy-type moves. Now, it's got two fairy moves here. It's got... Ooh, look at that damage! Oh, it's gonna kill itself! Ah, ha, ha, ha. I don't even need to hit it. I don't even need to hit you, dude. This is the power of the Rocky Helmet. Oh my god, it literally just killed itself. Uh, ooh, we need to drop a couple things. Um, Actually, right now what I can do... We should do that. That'll open up some inventory space. Uh, what else? Okay. I kind of want the Chesto Berry. I kind of don't need the Redstone at the moment. 
we're gonna also go I'm a, hmm we're gonna go heal yeah but that was a really good oh hold on we need to do the elytra thing I got it last episode and I haven't shown it off that's a problem so the elytra in this pack is actually kind of broken I will show you because it basically allows you to do something as I showed you last episode of the Totem of the Undying. Ooh, can we beat this? Can we go for? Can we go two for two here? Let's go two for two and see if we get some other good stuff. This one has Hyper Voice. Watch. It's got Peck. Okay, well that's better than Hyper Voice, I guess. Oh, it's got Round. Ooh. Unfortunate. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for Chip Away. And it used the special attacking move on my Kangaskhan. Of course it did. But it hit itself. It hit me with the Rocky Helmet. So that's good. Uh, Sleep Powder. Since unfortunately, this thing don't look very good. I can't take a hit from the uh, Altaria with Round. Oh, it's going for Sky Attack! No! Oh my... Oh, I flinched? Sky Attack has a flinch chance? What a freaking joke. Oh my god. I did not know Sky Attack had a flinch chance. I gotta look that up now. We just got bodied this time because this thing had Sky Attack, Peck, Round, and something else. Sky Attack. Has a flinch chance. Has a 30% chance to flinch. Ooh. That's a pretty high chance. It's almost like it's like Iron Head. Run a King's Rock Sky Attacker. Whoosh! Sky Attack's like Hyper Beam, though. Except you charge the first turn and then fire it off the second turn. But god damn, that thing just destroyed me. All right. Well, I got greedy. Went two for two. We'll try to go two for two. That <laughs> thing just dropped me with one bullet, dude. Okay, so this is a kind of the this is the kind of the area I was looking for over here, looking in the mountains for some new Pokemon. We have 14 Great Balls, so we kind of need to be conservative with who we want to t try and catch and how many Pokeballs we're willing. Uh, how many balls we're willing to use. And now I'm normally be interested in fighting that Mega Legendary Tyranitar, but right now I'm more interested in collecting Pokemon. Also, my inventory's full and I'd have to do some adjustments. Now I could just put down a box and just throw some stuff in it. So a couple Pokemon I've always had good luck in in these packs are... Uh, well, the evolved form of this is a Lowland Diglett. Lowland Dug Trio, which is a ground and steel type. Uh, I've always had good luck with it, because I've always gotten Earthquake and Iron Head. I probably should, uh, oh, let's probably, let's make it evolve this time so I can take a little bit of a hit this time. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, Lowland Dug Trio. It's got really good moves. It's got Iron Head, Earthquake, uh, Sucker Punch, and access to Stone Edge, even. Stone Edge is a very nice move. I'm going to beat this thing 1v1. Woo! And we get all that. Damn. More buttons for our Pokeballs. So we're going to stay out here for a little bit. Is that a legendary odd note? That is. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... I might... You know what? Ooh! Target number one has been confirmed! Uh, can we run? I wanna run. Let me, let me run, let me run. There we go. Target number one is confirmed. Where are you? There you are. Charmeleon, level 34. Right on the edge, too. I'm gonna go ahead and... Sleep it. All right, this should not kill you. Should not and does are two different things. That was... What the hell? I might have minus special defense or something, but I one-shot it with a Giga Drain.
That is just unlucky. What carbos? That's some money right there. Why do you? What's pushing me? Bambi, go away. I kind of want to. Uh, we have three rare candies. I guess I can put up Zip Strike at three levels. We'll do that. Since I haven't really trained you. All right, now that's at level 30, and I can, woo! Forgot to do that. <laughs> Forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to show off the Elytra, since you kind of saw what that did a little bit. This thing's a free, we got a free, uh, free skydiving machine. So I can just do this, jump, fly straight up with the flag on, left shift, and boink, I'm skydiving. And I could fly all day if I want to. Eh. And there. That was a smooth landing. My Flygon is hanging around somewhere. Yes, it's a free skydiving machine. Very nice. If you don't like the way your Flygon's flying, jump off of it and just dive straight towards the ground. At a hundred billion miles an hour. That way you can get some block coverage. Um, is that just a cast form? That is just a cast form. And he is aggressive. Okay. Ah! Has water gun! Super effective critical hit. That hurt. Ooh. Loot. Oh, come on. It didn't activate there. I was trying to... Glide down and get the loot. A Firestone. Ooh. I have two Pokeballs. Let's just toss those, actually, really quickly. Um, Pokemon over here. I want to ditch the Swampertite, so I'm going to put down the PC for the moment. Where is it? We can just throw Pokeballs at a couple Pokemon over here. Hey. Where the heck are the Pokemon? There's one. What are you? Ladybug? Nah. Can't throw one at you. Don't want a lady. I First off, I'm just throwing them at him. I don't really need them. I guess we'll just throw two at you so that way I can get the balls out of my... Out of my inventory. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are they perfect right now? Why am I getting a perfect catch rate with a Pokeball outside of battle? And this one, too? Well, that one's going to break. Okay. Oh, my God. We got a freaking ladybug on accident. Well, it wasn't an accident. I threw the ball at it. Okay. Hey. All right. Well, I'm probably just going to delete it because this thing's completely useless. Yeah, that looks thing looks completely useless. That's one way to do it. Unfortunate. All right. Well, we're looking for some new targets. You're very large for your size. Holy crap. That is a big Zwellus. Should we try and catch you, maybe? He's interested in fighting, so we'll go ahead and throw some shit at him. I'm going to go ahead and Giga Drain, since that's... Oh, it's going to do a little bit of damage. Oh, it was a critical hit. Okay. Oof. I'm going to do that. One more hit. And then I think he'll wake up since it's three turns, right? Yeah. His Dragon Pulse did a lot. This is a big Zwellus. Um, Zwellus is a pre-evolved form of a Pokemon called Hydreigon. And it is... Hydreigon is scary as hell. Oh, this thing's got work up. Okay, that's bad. Because it could probably one-shot the Venusaur. If they're maybe plus two. Still asleep, though. Low HP, level 50. And I don't know its catch rate, so we're going to have to hope to get some good luck here. You're a really big sleepyhead, aren't you? 
but you don't like staying in the ball. There we go. We got it. This thing wants to learn solar beam, and that would just suck. <sighs> we got a big pupitar over here. What's the size of the Zoellus, by the way? He is enormous as well, but it is a sassy nature, unfortunately. Might not, probably won't be able to use that. Oh, we can try this. We can try this. I'm going to try this. You better have Flare Blitz. Oh, good thing this Combuscan's weak. Forgot about that. It has Fire Punch. Okay. And Venusaur is kind of weak, too. That's bad. Oh, well. I mean, if it... Uh, quick attacks. Probably only going to get one more off. Kangaskhan is going to go for a chip away. Well, look at that. It hit me with a double kick. Oh, yes, dude. I think I'll be okay for an earthquake at this range. <laughs> Yay! I did it! We did it, guys. I don't need the Lunalium, so you have three of those. Uh, we've done it! I'm going to throw off the muscle band off that thing. Uh, eh. Combuskin has received its Megastone! And therefore is now a threat when it evolves at level 36. Okay, well there's a... Oh, right, there's... It's trying to... We gotta heal, so. First thing first. The mountains are a really good place to train. There's a bunch of Pokemon out here that you won't find anywhere else, and there's a bunch of good Pokemon that you want to catch. Tyranitar occasionally spawns in the mountains. So. There's evidence. Um, there are, If you see these... By the way, these are grottos. There's one here, one there. They're supposed to be kind of rare, but in taiga biomes, they're really obvious to see. So, two of them spawning right next to each other, next to a village. I've already grabbed. I've already grabbed them. So, <laughs> lucky me. Um, let's go to the Pokemart over here and sell this Carbos that we acquired. I think last episode or earlier this episode. I don't remember. Ooh, Thunderbolt here. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money for a Thunderbolt TM. I could sell Water Pulse. Let's just do that. Uh, yeah, we really like that Thunderbolt TM, though. Oh, this one has some... No, they're not very good, though. Got my hopes up, man. Uh, could I get... Either I spend some money and not have enough for Thunderbolt, or we... Beat some trainers up and get money for Thunderbolt. So I'm going to do the latter. I'm going to beat some trainers up, get some money for Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is a really powerful TM, and I really kind of want it. So I'm going to try and figure out who to beat up. Oh, go ahead and just beat this guy up real quick. Oh, man, that freaking... I've been training this thing with the... Uh... Power Bracer, and it just double kicked the hell out of that Watch Hog. It's got 65 attack. Alright, well, let's go ahead and find some trainers to beat up, because I need to do that, because I want that Thunderbolt TM. That kid doesn't have enough money. Hmm. Where, where's my people? I need people to beat up. I guess that one will do, although that might be part of the village. Now nah, level 30, you're not. Okay. Oh, you've got Sucker Punch, huh? This one might actually be part of the village. Nope. $3,800, we are at 10k, we need 16.5 for Thunderbolt. 
Yeah, now that's now we're talking. Woo! Hello, boys. We've got a freaking starter Pokemon. It's an Incineroar. It's game time. Oh boy. Can I live? Oh. Oh, really? All right. Let's see how much this hurts. Woohoo! Quick attack now. All right. There we go. I'm faster than the Incineroar. We've got ten Great Balls, and unfortunately, I might have to Mega Evolve to tank ahead here. Or not! Woohoo! We did it! Oh, that was a rich boy. Dude. There's a rich boy right here, though. Give me your money. This guy's got a lot of money. I'm going to get like $9,000 off of him. One Pokemon, $8,000. The planes are an excellent spot for money. I got excited because I have... I'll show you in my... When we get home. is We have an Incinium Z. Oh, I just did a... I just made an oops. Uh, I want to see if we can start using the Z moves, though. That would be really cool. Give me the Thunderbolt. Thank you. <laughs> Straight up just ran after it. Uh, $6,000. Let's go home. That, we have an Incineroar. I am excited. I want to start using some Z moves, actually, if we can do that. Please be good. Plus defense minus special defense. You have Flamethrower, th Thrash, Throat Chop, and Ember. So you do need a move relearner, but we'll find one. Unfortunately, okay, so Incineroar has risen to power in the last in this generation and it's when it's been first introduced and there's a freaking reason for it it's got a fire dark typing pretty good typing but you know it's a fire type so it's still it's still got a weakness but it's been one of the most competitively used pokemon in the last couple of years due to the fact it's hidden ability is Intimidate. Intimidate is a really good ability. Lowers attack. And now in the competitive scene, it's called VGC. It's basically advanced double battling mechanics. That hits both Pokemon. And obviously spread moves like Earthquake uh, are weakened. And if you have an Intimidate uh, Incineroar, you're shutting down an Earthquake pretty well. Also, Incineroar has a couple of good handy-dandy moves, but obviously I don't know if I'll be able, be able to get any of them on. Uh, it has Fake Out. First, first, first move, just clap it, flinch it, easy. Has U-Turn, get out of the battle, and get an Intimidate cycle once again. Has Flare Blitz, really strong, powerful fire-type move. Flaming Double Edge. It has Darkest Lariat, it's his own move, it's signature move, which pairs up with the Incinium Z to create, I don't know what the move is called, but it's really scary. And then the, uh, it has access to Earthquake, I believe, and it has Knock Off, which knocks off items, and in a competitive play, items are really important, so, yeah. And then, what else? You run, I think it runs a lot of, uh, offhand moves as well, but it's really freaking good. It's been on like nine of the top ten teams <laughs> for Pokemon Championships in the past couple of years. It's pretty stupidly overused. But in singles, it's not that it's not that good. I do have the Incinium Z. I knew it. I thought I had that. I have two Lunalium Zs already, so I didn't pick that up. So we got a Dianciate. Um, a Swampertite, an uh, Altarianite. So, our box is starting to fill up. We got Waterfall. What do we have down here? Surf. Psychic. Shadow Claw. Uh, don't I have another Nether Star? I do. 
power band. I guess I'll throw that in here. Yep. Two wild charge TMs. I found those both on my own, actually. Where are the diamonds? Did I not have any... Did I not... I didn't have a spot for diamonds. Lol. I don't have a spot for my diamonds. That's a problem. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Kangaskhanite's gonna stay on me. So we're gonna throw the diamonds in here just for the moment. Um, Eviolite. Uh, okay, we need to. We need more storage. More double chests needed. Oh yeah, we have a berry, chest of berry, and thunderbolt. Oh, all right, more storage needed. Also, I could probably not do that real quick. Let's get the books out of here. Enchantment table. Who's over there? Um, diamonds, 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 diamonds. Diamonds go there. Make ourselves a diamond pickaxe since we have six. Close down. There. Uh, stone shards down here. We have firestone, thunderstone, two waterstone shards. Eviolite, Wither Skull, Black Apricorn. We have nine Great Balls. That's not the best. I'm going to throw these glass panes somewhere else, actually. Down here. With the uh, boots. <sighs> I had eight boxes and I made another one. Jesus. Okay, so... The Incinium Z. I need to look this up. Malicious moon salt. All right, that's scary as fuck. <laughs> uh, Incineroar. As you can tell, it's fire dark typing. Good overall stats. A little slow, but that's fine. Makes for a good choice scarfer. No one's expecting it. Flamethrower, scare face. Flare blitz, outrage, and cross chop. And then if we get a movie learner, we get darkest lariat. Yeah. A lot of people like using Toracat because A, it's not a fully evolved Pokemon, and it's faster, actually. It's got a base 90 speed. But it doesn't have access to Intimidate. So, there's a drawback. And that's the hard part. When you're training up an ins like a Litten in Sun and Moon, you don't want to put speed on it, despite the fact that it's going to be fairly fast naturally. Incineroar slows down and just says, fuck you, I'm a giant tiger. Um, we'll look at the... Uh, I think this Incineroar is kind of small, actually. It is. Okay, and we have the EVMZ over here, by the way. That, uh, I need to find last resort for the EV. That is a big dog trio. Look at that big boy. That's a big girl. Lol. It's a dead one now. Don't really need Doug Trio at the moment. Um. Oh, there's another one over there. Should probably switch this thing out, because I've been using it to fight too many uh, trainers, and it's kind of over-leveled compared to my team. Making the bosses harder to kill, man. All right. Flame charge. Flame charge. Because this thing's fast. Yep. And I'm slow. Okay. So we have... Ooh, we have another researcher to beat up. Okay, so we got some money. I think this is about a good time to stop, but I kind of want to keep going, though. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm not paying attention to who I'm fighting. Yay. It's like $2,000. Mega Venusaur that I don't need to beat up, so we're going to leave you alone. As long as you don't block my entrance. Oh, this is a problem. 
Staravia should be, be able to take both of these guys out. Woo, look at that. Hey, and then I can quick attack, right? Oh, yeah, that's... The Endeavor... The Fear Raptor is in effect. If you don't know what the Fear Raptor is... Uh, wow. Fear Raptor. There we go. I call it the Fear Raptor. Basically, what it is is... Uh... Uh, let's see, so Star Raptor is the final evolved form of Starly. So, emphasis on the Raptor part. Fear Raptor comes from the Focus Ash Endeavor strat that was first invented, I don't know when, about Gen 5 actually. I think when the Focus Ash came out. Basically, the Fear is, it's basically an automatic 1v1 winner. Because the Focus Sash allows you to live any and all hits on 1 HP, if it should kill you, so. And then Endeavor, throw off an Endeavor, basically leads, has the opponent land on the same HP as you. Since you're on 1, they're on 1. Quick Attack. Quick Attack as priority, always goes first. Opponent gets knocked out the very next turn before it even has a chance to strike. A lot of people, well, not a lot of people knew it, but when Arceus was released in Gen 5 to the competitive scene, because they had it added at the end in Gen 4, but no one used, no one was able to pick it up and throw it into a competitive battle, there was no real way of stopping it, because, I mean, it had extreme speed, and obviously if you have extreme speed, it'll still not work. But... On the off chance you don't find any killer Arceus, you can drop it with a level 1 Rattata, basically, because Tata has Endeavor and can have a Focus Sash and has Quick Attack. So, breed the right Rattata, and you can take out a legendary Pokemon. Meanwhile, your opponent is sitting there wondering what the fuck just happened. Also, you can use this strategy. I think there's a couple of Pokemon that have Sturdy and Endeavor, so you can also do that. And there's a Pokemon, a couple, like, Bastiodon and stuff. It has Sturdy, but it has access to a move called Metal Burst, which is basically like a full counter. Meaning, any move that puts it down to Sturdy, you can just fire off a Metal Burst, and it'll KO the other Pokemon. Because it fires back with double the damage. And double the damage on you will definitely kill somebody else. So that that's that strategy. But as you can see, it's kind of hard to pull off in a game like this. So, yeah. I try to pull it off with a Star Raptor. That's one of the reasons why I keep it. Also, another is because it has Intimidate and I can fly on it. Like... Star Raptor has many versatile uses for me. And in general. So I'm just keeping it around. Because it's a very versatile Pokemon. And it actually sits in the OU tier on Smogun. Despite, well, I think it's borderline. But, you know, that's very good for, you know, what it does and what its stats are. And. <laughs> Mostly it sits there because of its hidden ability, Reckless. Get a nuclear Brave Bird and you can just spam it with a Choice Scarf for a Choice Band. And it'll clean through its couple of teams, even on minus one attack from a Lando. Uh, wow, I am hitting that one hard. Uh, I should probably just double kick. Probably should just double kick, huh? Bang! Star Ravia getting a little bit of points. Um, nah, I guess Diglett wants to fight. I think that'll do it. Um, we got a lot of progress done. Uh, well, I kind of want to start live streaming the series, but I feel like I should. It means I'd kind of have to stop recording for a little bit and actually. Uh, 
get all my recordings out and then start a live stream of this because otherwise it would just be kind of impossible to do so maybe we do that maybe we do a two hour stream or something we'll have to wait and see because I get sucked into this pretty easily I could play this for five six hours at a time no problem and if I get my brother on, which, you know, it's not possible, but he's just not interested in playing at this the moment. Well, we could literally go for like six hour sessions, eight hours. We just do whatever the hell we want. So, recap. We got ourselves an Incineroar with the possibility of a, using a Z move. Do I have a Snorlium Z? I thought I did. I guess I didn't. So, Mimikyu is another target of ours. Oh, that's going to be hard to find, though. So, we have a possible Z-Mover on the team in a in the near future. Um, we have ourselves a possible Mega Swampert. Also, I found Waterfall, so I can teach it to uh, Mudkip. And Magikarp is a possibility for Mega. Unfortunately, the Tauros has been benched. We caught ourselves a Frogadier earlier, but I'm not really keen on using it because it's not doesn't have a good nature and we got a jolly that thir level 31 was jolly Ooh, we got two good nido kings this one's adamant by the way really good as well how fast is this one this one's faster and it's only four levels mm, this one might be pretty slow on the ivs oh boy this one's got good ivs i can tell and then this little starly buddy over here. I think I caught a couple of them. But he's pretty low, actually. Yeah, so we got ourselves a Snorlax, a Mudkip, a couple of good Nida Kings, and an Incineroar possible Z-Mover. Like, we've got ourselves a... We've got ourselves options. Plus, we've got Flygon, Mega Venusaur, Mega Kangaskhan, and in a couple of days, a Mega Blaziken. Like... We got potential for this series, man. This thing could really kick up. Oh, you tempting me now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're going to take the Incineroar out. Okay, we're going to put you in a hole real quick. I need this really quickly. This is a movie learner. Why are you such a dummy? In the hole. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm stuck, dude. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Got him. Finally. Damn it. Okay. Ooh, this thing has... Darkest Lariat. Uh, throat Chops? Well, unfortunately, we don't need that. Uh, Fire Fang, Bulk Up, Double Kick? Bite? I'm going to go with Double Kick, actually. Instead of Ember. Um, how's its special attack? 89? We'll keep Flamethrower. We'll keep it. We can put an Incinium Z down. Oh, the fake out. That's definitely going on there. Uh, double hit. Chip away, crunch, and outrage. I want to get rid of outrage, actually, maybe. Double hit, bite. Is he punching it? Or... Oh, Dizzy Punch is actually probably a little bit better than Chip Away, huh? But I kind of want to keep it. You know what? We're going to keep this moveset. Flygon's got a bunch of... Yeah, I had Earth Power. Uh, Combuskin. Um, Staravia. Okay, who else needed a move? Oh, Snorlax. Let's see what we can do with him. Kind of want to keep the rest sleep talk set. Chip away, body slam. The Giga Impact. Um. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Does this thing normally like crunch or something? I'm going to go ahead and keep the move set. We're going to get rid of rollout for like something like crunch when it learns it. And then I think it'll be fine. What else? 34, Night of King Adamant. Did I get this one already done? Yeah. 
Uh, well, shit. I'm gonna go ahead and put Zwellis on the block over here just to see what I can do. Eh. There we go. Crunch, Dragon Rush, Roar, Slam, Dragon Breath, Bite, Double Head. I think it's fine. We're going to go beat up that Mega Legendary Swampert and finish off the episode because I keep wanting the episode to finish and I can't because I'm stupid. Go ahead and do this the old-fashioned way, since... Oh, he's got Hammer Arm, too. Get the free fake out. And get the chip away. Oh, this thing's faster! What?! Oh, yeah, because it's Hammer Armed, huh? Oh, it finished me off with a mud shot. Oh, look at that. The regular Venusaur just absolutely slapped him, dude. And, of course, you miss. So this is a problem now. Ah! Okay, we're going to kill. And Flygon grew another level. So I'm having a hard time with Flygon, because I don't know if I want to keep Rock Slide or switch it up to Fire Punch. Is he right? He despawned? Yep, he despawned. Okay, cool. Hmm. We'll put that over here. And then we're going to go over to the Pokemon Center and heal our team. And then I think I'm going to head off to get some lunch. Because I kind of want to go do that. I've been stuck in the house for a while. Maybe take my brother out and see if he's awake. Give him some lunch. Uh, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, we've got, we've got Big Mama Kangas gone. And you saw how well that thing was working for us, and especially against those bosses that were absolutely smacking it with physical moves. Oh man, they practically killed themselves, dude. I love the Rocky Helmet Kangas gone. Who knows? Who knew, right? I mean, you wouldn't... You know what? Kangaskhan wouldn't necessarily be a bad Rocky Helmeter in PU. That's where it sits. But the problem is, it's better elsewhere. It's got options like an Assault Vest, Fake Out, Power Up Punch, Earthquake, and Drain Punch, actually. This thing has Drain Punch, I think. So, yeah. This thing's pretty good. We got a lot of work cut out for us, but guess what? We've got a lot of openings. There's a lot of potential here. Star Raptor is going to be here soon. A Zipstrika might be replaced by a faster or better electric type. I might go after and get another Zipstrika that's better. You know, like that one. <laughs> but I'll leave it alone for today. Um, we've got two PCs. Um, we've got this sort of base. You know, we could probably make a little bit better of a base. Um, Looking at options for our permanent base. And we are also looking at potential exploration routes as well. So there's a lot to do here, you know. There's a lot to do on a server like this. Because once you figure out where you want to go, you can pretty much do anything you want. Obviously, the best part is, I haven't even started my Pokeball operation. I haven't even done that yet. We've been just been relying on our money, money maker. And I just got hit by a Darumaka, which I can't even see. Probably why I can't see it. Alright, well, problem is, I want to leave, but these legendary bosses have a small chance of dropping a Master Ball. So we're going to go ahead and try and beat them up. Don't burn me. Oh my god, that was scary. I'm alive! Critical hit! There's our Focus Sash! I was just talking about that a couple of minutes ago. That's hilarious. So now we can literally beat any boss. I can also use this on a legendary Pokemon. 
what that means is all I have to do is send it out and it endeavors itself I can endeavor it down to one HP and then try and take a couple hits or something and get a sleep powder off that would be my plan but obviously I'm gonna need uh we're gonna need more balls so that focus ash just did a did us a huge favor I'm not joking but I can't use it the Focus Ash is a one-time consumable, and I basically have to go into the battle knowing I'm going to use it. So I can't use it at the moment, or put it on our Star, Rav our Star Ravia, until I know I'm, what I'm going to use it on. So we're just going to go ahead and chill with it. It's the perfect spot to end. We got our item that basically is like a Master Ball. <laughs> I need a False Swiper, so... There's a potential to a couple Pokemon that spawn here. Um, one of them is a Scyther. Another one is a Haxorus. Although to be fair, Haxorus, I wouldn't want to false swipe with any anything anyway. So, so yeah, we're just gonna be chilling here. I got a false. I got a Focus Ash, dude. That's super OP. And trust me, when I use it, you'll know it, and it's gonna work. Hopefully, I'm gonna be very mad if it doesn't. Because I can't really get another one. Unless that be another legendary boss. My voice is starting to go. So I'm going to head out. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a really good episode. I like where we're going. I do. This is getting good. Team's starting to be built. Um, the levels need to come up. But that's nothing a couple hours worth training won't do. So. Uh, guys just have any suggestions on what I want to do or any Pokemon you want me to catch, let me know down in the comments. I will try to do my best, and obviously I will try to do anything I can to uh, appeal. Um, obviously a base is in the near future, but right now we have everything we need. Or I have everything I want at the moment. And if I want a new base, I'll just find a spot and we'll make a new base. So maybe any base ideas or anything like that would be appreciated as well. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.